Ayurveda is a part of our great Vedic heritage and it's one of the most ancient sciences of health and healing. Through the serial, it's our humble effort to carry the message of Ayurveda to your homes and hearts. I hope and pray that we will have your blessings for this great venture. Ayurveda is often referred to as a holistic system of healing, which it certainly is. But are the Ayurvedic practitioners of today really practicing it in its true sense? And what does holism mean? Is it the approach towards a patient considering his physical, mental, social and spiritual health? Or is it the application of Ayurveda on an individual in relation to his immediate environment as also to the global environment, as against the present day practice of viewing the individual in isolation, irrespective of the numerous factors and variables that affect his or her well-being? Or is it the application of Ayurveda in its entirety, instead of picking up convenient bits and pieces to suit the bias and not so rational needs of the patient? Or is it a continual and lifelong process in which the individual takes complete responsibility for his or her health status and, guided by the physician, takes the necessary steps to remain happy at all times? Or again, is it a combination of all the above factors? We would like to think that it is a combination of all the above factors because it is only in such a combination that holism truly exists. To achieve that ideal state, it means we have to go back to the basics, to revert to simplicity and to make life an eternally enjoyable experience. Unfortunately, most of us have never had a chance to experience it. When you're just going to die, when I'm going to die, maybe if I ask the question, what is the fate of me? Modern science would say I'm going to become a bunch of, I mean, a collection of elements. Ayurveda would say that I will be born again, I mean, the, and life continues in another form. So, as long as life continues, our Shastras have said, Ayurveda will also continue, because Ayurveda is a knowledge of life. That is what the Charaka Samhita says. The concept of Charaka is Prakriti Sthapana. Now, with this scheme of classification that's not changed for 3000 years, can Ayurveda address new problems. An Ayurvedic physician would say, you forget about your blood test which says what is the bacterium or what is the virus, you know. You please present the patient before me and I look at the symptom complex, you know. Does he seem to be afflicted by vata type of problem or pitta type or kapha type or a combination and that would give me a line of uh, treatment for that, you know. Charaka, he has given the symptoms from which symptoms you can come to a conclusion. 
टूडे वॉट एपन इवन इन द मॉडर्न साइंस और आयुर्वेद रिसर्च इन द मॉडर्न साइंस दे सी द इफेक्ट ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज से मलेरिया यू गिव केमोथेरेप्यूटिक्स फॉर मलेरिया द मलेरियल पैरासाइट्स विल गो दे विल डाई द फीवर विल कम डाउन This side is all right. That has been very highly developed, but its effect on digestion and metabolism is not seen. My Guru Yogi Krishna Chari, if somebody's throat is out, he wouldn't be talking in terms of viruses or bacteria. He'll be talking in terms of what happened to the udana vayu, or what happened to one of the doshas. You know, now these languages are not commensurate or really translated. Cannot be translated exactly into each other. Because there are different ways of organizing and uh, looking at the world, you know. Antibiotics, their effect on the natural bacterial flora of the intestines, which are responsible to produce the vitamin B group, or its effect on on immunity or general in the body, that has not been seen. Only they pour the medicine. <coughs> Fever came down. Uh, bacteria is destroyed, and the patient is declared as cured. But that is not cured. In our own case, I have seen that uh, our little child has uh, only child. He is of a life, and he had a brain injury soon after birth. So he is a spastic child. And uh, as you know, in the case of spastic children. Uh, the limbs become rigid because they are often you know held in a particular position and it is only because of the spiddy chill and other systems care uh, treatment for 3 years in uh, ayurveda shala at kotakal and later in coimbatore at the ayurveda pharmacy that his limbs are plastic like our limbs the meaning of prakriti sthapana is the uh, physical and the mental part of the patient should be as before he was ill he was sick i remember a dramatic case uh, when he was about 3 years old he as one of the manifestations of um, uh, brain injury he used to get the, he had myoclonic epilepsy you know he would go into seizures of 10 or 12 jerks I mean, electric jerks Uh, almost ten or twelve times a day. We people in Ayurved, we try to treat the patient as a whole, not a part of the disease. He was admitted for a month in the medical institute here. He was being given almost adult dosages of four suppressants: tegritol, there is uh, dilantine, mesitol, epilim. These were frightening things for us. he had become uh, sometimes as lifeless as a handkerchief but in that condition the jerks would not stop and we took him to england and the at the great ormond street hospital they said that you might have injured his eyesight are you sure that the doctors advised that you take one sedative after upon another sedative or not decrease the other one we said no all that was happening was they were piling on one suppressant after the other that was affecting his awareness it was not curing the epilepsy and they told us that uh, well some children outgrow this but sometimes you just have to live with this for your adult life and we were in ba- they said just reduce these medicines and don't give him even an aspirin the physician should see the effect of the medicine or whatever may be not only on the disease but on the general stamina and resistance we were in bangalore and he developed some fever and we were frightened to death of giving him even aspirin and um, the manager of the indian express he told us that sir uh, the just opposite our office the aryavedya pharmacy has a branch and uh, dr panikar is there he is a very fine person let him just come and see your child dr panikar said uh, this fever will be over no problem 
what is the real problem? And we told him that this um, epilepsy is a very big problem because even a loud noise will set off the jerk. He said, no problem. Day, before, day after tomorrow is a good day. I'll pray and we will begin the treatment. And in six weeks, this will go. He started that. It aggravated, as he had said. To the day on the sixth week being over, there was a dramatic change. And he was three then, he's 24 now. I, mean, I can only pray that nothing recurs. But from that day to now, it has not recurred. A thing which it, in London, at the best hospitals in the world, we had been told could last his lifetime, was cured exactly as Dr. Panikar said it would be cured. In Europe, in England and in the United States, the feminist movement has come up with a strong critique of modern gynecology and obstetrics. No? They are saying that A to Z, the way a woman is being treated in the hospital is wrong. Childbirth is not a disease, you know? it's a natural phenomenon. We should bring childbirth back to home and we should have childbirth at home assisted by some experts and the intervention of doctors should just be a referral kind of a thing, support that's available in the background. In fact, the feminist movement in the West has come up with a strong critique that says even the posture that's assumed by the woman during childbirth, the supine posture, it's convenient to the gynecologist, not convenient to the lady who's trying to deliver the child. The nature of public discourse in India, the nature of the educational system, <clears throat> the nature of our textbooks, and also uh, the I mean, a thousand years of foreign rule, certainly 150 years of British rule, in a sense made us ashamed of our traditional culture and knowledge. And now we, see, we feel more confident in coming out and speaking and appropriating that knowledge because of its being validated by persons outside. The Chinese medicine uh, has entered the world market much earlier. Though the uh, Ayurvedic medicine is older than the Chinese medicine, it's the Chinese medicine uh, entered much earlier. Acupuncture came much earlier. Why? Because the entire government machinery was channelized, entire modern medical system was channelized to experiment and see those things. Now, what is in our country? <laughs> Adil kaciyo, yadiyo, madamu, pakam eh, aras, nalla poli lalik, nalla bisendri nyalik, amana angkihirji, amana wajji kalaji choli kurda waring kalan sunda bayi, sunda bayi tu nalla boru. In about 60% of the U.S. medical schools, alternate medicine departments have been set up. Now their alternate medicine, of course, means either acupuncture or it means chiropractic or it means some sort of herbal medicine or it means some sort of massage. It doesn't include Ayurveda, but that is what is uh, what we would like to advocate. That if this is what America is doing for other systems, how much more they could gain if they were to introduce something on Ayurveda? We want to incorporate Ayurveda in our uh, say healthcare system that we are going to do. As a government, we have been given at Prime Minister's level a direction that this ought to be done. Today, the government is talking about this way more about Ayurveda because now they are export potential. Now they are showing that in America, in Russia, in Europe, 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 in Europe. We want to promote uh, Ayurveda in a big way in this country and in other countries also. दवाएं बिक सकती हैं इसलिए आयुर्वेद की चेष्टा अभी चल रही है अन्यथा कोई मन से कोई दिल से यहाँ के जन स्वास्थ्य की चिकित्सा के लिए आयुर्वेद क्योंकि मेरा ये मानना है कि कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन जो कम्युनिटी हेल्थ सेंटर्स हैं वो आयुर्वेद बेस्ड ही होने चाहिए थे द डेड हैंड ऑफ द स्टेट शुड नॉट बी डिपेंडेड अपॉन फॉर एनी एंड सटनली नॉट फॉर सच ए प्रेशियस थिंग एज आयुर्वेद साधारण रोगों के लिए चिकित्सा के लिए हमारी जड़ी बूटियां हम तो कहते हैं आयुर्वेद के जो रस और भस्म है उनकी भी जरूरत नहीं है हमको बिल्कुल साधारण जड़ी बूटियां ये जो जिस घास पे हम बैठे हुए हैं ये दूब घास इसी तरह की तमाम चीज़ें जो मुझे दिख रही हैं आसपास पास यहाँ ये सब औषधियां हैं और ये सामान्य तरह से हमने तो एक लिस्ट बनाई है बीस पच्चीस औषधियों की जो घर में लगाई जा सकती हैं जो गाँव में लगाई जा सकती हैं जिससे अस्सी हम 
स्वास्थ्य की समस्या को हल कर सकते हैं जो यहाँ आसपास क्षेत्र में फैली हुई बीमारियाँ हैं जो 500 ग्रामों का हमारा क्षेत्र है उन गाँव में दादी माँ के बटुए के माध्यम से हम उपचार करते हैं वो बटुआ ऐसा रहता है कि गाँव में उनमें औषधियों का कुछ संग्रह रहता है औषधियों का उनका कुछ साहित्य होता है उसको किस प्रकार से देना है दसवीं बारहवीं पास कोई लड़का जो पढ़ा लिखा है और गांव में बेकार घूमता रहता है उसको वो सिखा दिया जाता है और वो ठीक प्रकार से जो रोगी गांव में होते हैं उनका उपचार उस साहित्य के आधार पर करता है इसमें जो ट्रेडिशनल ड्रग्स हैं या पुराने पारंपरिक या तरीके हैं जिनके द्वारा हमारे बुजुर्ग लोग इलाज करते हैं उन्हीं तरीकों पर एक मेडिसिनल किट तैयार की गई है स्वस्थस्य स्वास्थ्य रक्षण आतुरस्य विकार प्रसमना तो स्वस्थस्य स्वास्थ्य रक्षण के लिए तो जो अभी हमारे संगठन सचिव जी ने बताया कि हम गांव में काम कर रहे हैं एक अलग पहलू है दूसरा पहलू आता है आतुरस्य विकार प्रसमना इसमें हम लोगों ने अभी तीन बीमारियों का चयन किया है जिसके ऊपर शोध कार्य कर रहे हैं उसमें तमक श्वास दमा मधुमेह डायबिटीज और आम बात आयुर्वेद को पुनर्प्रतिष्ठित करने के लिए एक तो ये आवश्यक है कि गांव में या शहरों में रहने वाली जो भी आबादी है वो एक तो बीमार ना पड़े और यदि बीमार होता है तो उसका उपचार ऐसा हो जिससे कोई अन्य बीमारियां उसके शरीर में ना आए लोक स्वास्थ्य परंपरा संवर्धन समिति के माध्यम से अपने संस्था के प्रयासों से लगभग लगभग नॉर्थ इंडिया में राजस्थान में काम शुरू कराया बिहार में काम शुरू कराया बंगाल में मीटिंग्स की असम में मीटिंग की उधर जो है नॉर्थ ईस्ट में मणिपुर में त्रिपुरा में यहाँ सब जगह जा करके लोक स्वास्थ्य के जो परंपरा के जो लोग थे जो दाइयाँ थीं जो वैद्य थे जिनको कई जगह वैदु कहते हैं जैसे महाराष्ट्र में वैदु कहते हैं उस तरह से यहाँ के ग्रामीण वैद्य हैं उनको संगठित करने का प्रयास किया गया इफ आवर इंटेंशन वॉज टू स्ट्रेंथन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन एंड बिल्ड इट सो दैट इट कैन एड्रेस स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम एंटायर अप्रोच कैन बी डिफरेंट so we don't then ask a question as to what is the active ingredient in this or that we would say can ayurveda manage hypertension can ayurveda manage malaria what is the line of treatment in ayurveda for such and such condition who are the competent people who can do it how can we strengthen it and how can we build upon it so i think this entire active component line of research right from the word go on it's not an agenda to strengthen ayurveda Unfortunately, some of the best minds in Ayurveda, or some of the most well-meaning Ayurvedic people, also took to this land. Perhaps in the mistaken belief that what they would do with that is prove to Western science or prove to the rest of the world that Ayurveda is also scientific. But what we ought to have done is to realize and state it very strongly that Ayurveda does not need to prove itself in terms of any modern scientific parameters. Ayurveda can say, "You want me to manage malaria." Please produce to me 100 patients with malaria. I'll manage them. You take a look if they get better. Let's ask the patient or agree upon common criteria. That's one approach. You want to look at the scientific basis of my medicine? I'll tell you. No, you please come and study with me about Panchamahabhut Siddhant, about Tridosh Vichar, etc. In the last two episodes, we have seen the basic differences between the Western and the Indian systems of medicine. and in what areas of healthcare they could perhaps coexist and cooperate in these changing times whatever may lie at the core of this interdisciplinary dialogue ayurveda is here to stay as a viable and reliable health management system please revert to us with your valuable comments about our serial write to us at ayurveda pb number 7102 trichy road Coimbatore six four one zero four five, or email us at ayurveda at bsnl dot com. Brahma Pratva Yusho Vedam Prajapati Madhi Krida Brahma Pratva Yusho Vedam Prajapati Madhi Krida To Ashvinu Tau Sajasraksham.
ಶಂಕರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇದ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಮಜೀ ಗ್ರಹ